hi guys welcome back to Danny's kitchen in today's video i'm sharing with you how to make this creamy and delicious eggnog for the holiday season whether it's for thanksgiving or christmas please stick around and watch this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button like the video share the video with friends and let us all be a family so here are the ingredients that i will be using today i have a cup of white sugar i have vanilla nutmeg powder cinnamon powder i have half and half heavy cream salt whole milk and i'm going to use some eggs so the first thing i'm going to do is start separating the egg the egg yolk from the egg white so that's the reason for this egg separator right here to make the process much easier but if you don't have the egg separator there are other steps you can do as well to remove the egg yolk from the separate the egg yolk from the eggs so this is a step that I do. So once the egg white, all the white is removed, I just put the egg in a separate bowl. And I will be using eight of these eggs today, eight large eggs to make this um, recipe. So here we now have the eggs that separated. I'm adding one cup of white sugar and I'm just going to whip until it's creamy and all the sugar is whipped together with the eggs and then I'm going to leave for a minute or two and then I'm going to move on to the next step to make the liquid process of it. I take a pot which I'm gonna add the heavy cream and milk and um, the amount that I'm putting the measurement I'll add it to the screen so you guys can see the amount to um, add if you're gonna make this recipe so meanwhile I'm doing that or after I'm doing after I don't do that I'm just gonna use a spoon and mix everything together put it on the stove and let it simmer on low heat maybe for about like five minutes and then i'm gonna add it to the egg mixture
I removed the pot from the stove. So I'm just going to add the, the mixture to the egg. And I'm going to do this as quickly as possible. I don't want the eggs to cook. So that's the reason for me moving so fast. So I'm just going to do a cup at a time and whip as I go. So this is the mixture is done. I'm going to add it to the same pot that I made the mixture in earlier. And I'm going to put it back on the stove and let the eggs cook on low heat. And how you're going to know if it start to cook? I'm going to show you guys the process of that. So now I add the pot back to the stove and I'm just going to let it simmer on low heat. Don't turn the stove up. So um, I'm just stirring as I go. And here is it guys. Nice and ready. You can see the mixture start to thicken. And make sure you are stirring because you don't want the egg to start curdling. And that's going to be a problem. So it's now cooked and I'm just going to remove the pot from the stove and let it cool down for about 60 minutes before I um, pour it into a container. So here I have it. It's cooled down well enough to put in this bottle and I'm going to pour all of it in there and I'm going to add some rum. It's optional. You don't have to do that. It's up to you if you like alcohol. If not, you can just have it just like that because it's rich and creamy and delicious. So this is... um. All that I got from my eight egg mixture so guys I'm gonna have a glass and I'm pouring it in it's chill and ready so all you have to do is pour it in the glass and then you can just add some nutmeg powder on top just for garnish or just you know just for style and that's what i'm gonna do so please give me a thumbs up if you like this video share this video like this video and let me all know if you had tried this recipe thank you all for watching